Now, the virtual reality industry is still in its infancy with one million headsets expected to be sold this year. But one company, Applied VR, says this cutting-edge technology could potentially offer patients a highly enjoyable experience from scary and painful experiences in healthcare. You have probably never heard of Awate, the Cameroonian tech mogul who has made a name for himself in the Los Angeles area for building cutting-edge software and mobile applications that compete with some of the biggest names in the industry. Awate is known as the first African-born technopreneur to cash in big time. He recently sold one of his Ateka companies, Cinema Now, a digital rights management video-on-demand firm to Ravi Entertainment Networks for a cool $720 million. That platform that we built basically, I think, was what gave birth to a lot of the different platforms you have today, you know, whether it's Netflix, whether it's uh, Hulu, or, you know, to an extent, you know, uh, some of the things that are happening with iTunes. Um, they, they, they all use DRM today, and the, the valuation of Cinema Now went from, you know, this interesting startup with a, a solution, potential solution to a problem to a $720 million company in the space of seven years. Once again, Te has created a buzz in the Los Angeles area. He is one of the key players behind this innovative and cutting-edge technology called Applied VR, or Virtual Reality which is revolutionizing the way people interact with the technology. He says that Applied VR as a platform is intended to increase a patient comfort and support providers in managing anxiety and pain in a clinical setting before, during and after procedures. Te explains how the technology is used to keep patients' mind occupied during painful procedures. Take as much time as you like. It's a very relaxing scene, and um, the birds chirping. It, it, as far as I'm concerned right now, I am on a beach. Mr. Tay says that uh, VR has conducted clinical research to demonstrate how their products may decrease a patient anxiety, reduce pain, minimize the need for sedation, lessen the risk of drug complications, and shorten the post-operative stage. We're right now in eight of the top ten hospitals in, mm -hmm. in, in America, and, um, you know, we continue to grow every single day. We get a phone call from a health system that is interested in trying our products because there's, there's so many um, benefits for this. In fact, um, there's a woman that gave birth using our technology and did not need an epidural. It was, it was um, serious. It was published in The Guardian. The tech executive has also developed several other internationally recognized web and mobile applications. As the tech mogul expands his business or enterprise, he says his eyes are set on other innovative and cutting-edge solutions, especially in the rapidly growing e-medical and healthcare field. Paul Ndiho. VOA News, Washington.